Vince McMahon, Vincent Kennedy. Hello once again and welcome to Kayfabe News. My name is Flippin' Marks and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's important, like pushing Roman Reigns. Tonight's headlines, a lawsuit for Ric Flair, an idiotic four-year-old Mark doesn't realize wrestling is a work, Triple H achieves a career milestone, and we provide the true, never before told story about a legendary match. First up tonight, retired sports entertainer Ric Flair is in legal hot water once again. The estate of William Shakespeare has filed a lawsuit alleging that Flair's trademark color of woo is an unauthorized and egregious misuse of a term coined by the playwright nearly 500 years ago. Lawyers on behalf of Shakespeare's estate made this statement earlier today. Flair's incessant crow-like use of the term woo is tantamount to plagiarizing the bard's most memorable turns of fret. Who can forget, for example, this line from Much Ado about nothing? Thou and I are too wise to woo peaceably. The lawsuit comes at a particularly ironic time for Flair, given that the so-called Nature Boy is himself threatening to sue World Wrestling Entertainment due to Becky Lynch's use of the catchphrase, to be the man, you've got to beat the man. But even that famous line is lifted from Shakespeare, according to the lawyers who also released this statement. In William's King Lear, as the main character is dying, he quite clearly says, should thou seeketh to become the man, dost thou not first beat the man. This of course comes from chapter 3, verse 16, and everybody knows that. We know what Ric Flair is up to. Flair is also facing an unrelated class action lawsuit from riders who complain that his Space Mountain ride is decrepit, creepy, and finishes much too quickly. More when we have it. Happier news now as congratulations are in order for WWE executive Hunter Hearst Helmsley or Triple H for achieving yet another career milestone. For the first time in his illustrious career, Helmsley managed to drink an entire bottle of water without spewing it all over himself. For years, Helmsley has suffered from a rare psychological disorder called esophagal aqua evacuation reflux, which forces him to involuntarily spray water into the air when he tries to drink it. His wife Stephanie McMahon Helmsley encouraged him to seek medical help for the condition since it has proven embarrassing for them both in front of countless live WWE crowds. Yesterday, after weeks of physiotherapy and counseling, Helmsley consumed an entire bottle of Evian water without a single mishap. But we have footage from this historic occasion. It's Ip Toss here from Sports, and I am honored to bring you this occasion today as Triple H, also known as Hunter Hearst Helmsley, tries to drink a bottle of water. We've got it up on the screen now. Here he goes. He's taking the bottle. It's going up to his mouth. He's going to his throat. Is he going to? He is. It's going down, people. It's going down. It's going past a little wiggly thing in the back of your throat. I cannot believe it. Triple H is drinking a bottle of water. We've never seen anything like this before. This is why I love the game. This is why I do what I wait. Wait, wait, no, no, don't do it. Oh, I can't believe it. he could help himself. Years of doing the stupid water spit thing in front of crowds. Ah, oh, we never saw it coming. Man, if you bet on that, you are gonna be a happy person this evening. I can't wait to do this again next year. Thank you. Having achieved this milestone, Helmsley is now beginning speech therapy to correct the speech impediment that forces him to end uh, every word uh, with a weird grunter. Good luck, Mr. Helmsley. We believe in you. Uh. Next up tonight, while everybody today understands that professional wrestling is a theatrical spectacle of simulated combat in which match outcomes are predetermined, it seems moronic kindergartner Timmy O'Grady of Maine still thinks it's 100% real. Timmy, aged four, is what is known in the business as a mark or a gullible dimwit who enjoys pro wrestling at face value without nitpicky comments inside a jargon or smugly sarcastic comments in online wrestling forums. 
such as Reddit. Timmy says he loves wrestling, or West Wing, as the adult pronounces it, because it is exciting and fun, which demonstrates the depths of his pathetic naivety regarding the backstage happenings and internal politics of the business. The little numbskull even has posters of Roman Reigns on his bedroom wall, blissfully unaware that real wrestling fans are supposed to boo people like that for being poor workers who receive disproportionate pushes while undersized indie dumb Darlings languish in the mid card. Timmy's irresponsible parents, Todd and Menely O'Grady, say they find Timmy's ignorance cute and that it is too soon to tell him the truth about wrestling the Easter Bunny or Santa Claus, also known as Father Christmas. But if Timmy isn't smart enough to the business soon, experts warn he could become dangerously non jaded and uncynical about wrestling, which will leave him ostracized from the so called internet wrestling community. And finally tonight in our kayfabe counter, we share the never before told real story about why The Undertaker lost the streak ending match to Brock Lesnar. Are you ready? Because here we go. The outcomes of all professional wrestling matches are predetermined by matchmakers and agreed upon by the participants. And that is why The Undertaker lost. How about that? And that's it for tonight on Kayfabe News. Please remember to smash that subscribe button and head over to kayfabenews.com to read more nonsense like this. My name is Flippin' Marks. I appreciate you joining me. And remember, it's not fake news. It's unreal.